Hey, I'm here today with Rhoda Dramador and Baby Kojo. And Baby Kojo has just finished his treatment for baby jaundice. So let's hear more from his mother and see how everything went. Baby Kojo has been in the hospital for almost four days for having contracted jaundice. He is being treated and is now on the road to recovery. His mother Rhoda tells us what happened. When I gave birth to him, after three days, I noticed a change in his eyeball. The eye was supposed to be white, but it now turns to yellow after three days. So I don't know what is wrong with him. So I called those who have once given birth, those who have given birth, and they told me I should rush him to the hospital. So I brought him here before they did some lab and tests, and they noticed it was joint this. And even apart from that, there was a, a the eye ball turns to yellow, and the skin. And their face too. Instead of him having his nice color, it changes to yellow. She is insistent that no parent should wait for a moment, especially if they are unsure whether their baby has contracted jaundice. Dr. Frederick Wahin, the doctor in charge of the mother and baby unit at the hospital, concurs and believes that being vigilant, along with breastfeeding a baby, will aid to their treatment and quick healing of neonatal jaundice. The awareness is to let mothers be aware that. But once it is picked up early enough, then there is hope. Because for us, the dangerous aspect is when it progresses. Unfortunately, when it progresses, one of the parts of the body that gets mostly affected is the brain. And so the brain is something that you want to avoid the yellowing progressing to affect because then you are looking at a long-term damage, basically for life. Breastfeeding is also one of the processes that allows for adequate elimination of the bilirubin that has accumulated in the child. So if the levels are not that high, then, I mean, I mean, baby can be given to mother and, you know, breastfed and the jaundice will clear. Neonatal jaundice is the yellowing of a baby's skin or the yellowing of the white area in a baby's eyes. Physiological jaundice is the most common type found in babies. However, if the bilirubin levels, which show whether a baby has jaundice or not, are at high levels, it can spread and affect the brain, causing long-term damage and, in some severe cases, disability or even death. A nurse showed me how to test a baby for suspected jaundice. The babies are pink. It is their nature to be pink. So if your baby is not pink, you should be worried. So when the baby starts crying and, or even you want to breastfeed your baby, also check the gum. When you check the gum, you will notice that the gum has, it has started becoming yellowish or even the tank. According to the, baby of, um, the mother of this baby, even when the baby was crying, the tears were becoming yellowish. Yes, and the cord. So when the baby is yellow, it is the yellowish um, discoloration usually starts from the eyes, then it takes the face. Once no treatment is going on, it will come to the neck, the chest, hands, then it will gradually go down. When it gets to the feet, so when a baby comes to the hospital, you check and then the baby is yellow at the feet, then it is not good enough. Treatments for neonatal jaundice differ, with the most common being phototherapy. This is when a bluish light is set on the baby. Baby Akos has had phototherapy to treat jaundice for the last three days. Her doctors say she is healing well, as her treatment is almost complete. In the case of babies suffering from neonatal jaundice, breastfeeding is very important as it aids in their healing. However, there have been many old wives' tales regarding the treatment of jaundice. Nurse Joyce Santiago elaborates what parents should and should not do in the treatment of jaundice. At the time, the mothers put the child under sunlight, which is not advisable. And also, some also go to the extent of expressing breast milk into the child's eye. We don't recommend that one. And also, some also give the children herbal medications, which is also not advisable. So as much as possible, immediately you realize that the child is yellowish. You rush the child to the nearest clinic to be attended to. Also, when you are pregnant, it's advisable that you go to the hospital to attend antenatal. And when you are given the labs that you are supposed to do, you do them as early as possible so that you wouldn't get such things after delivery. All parents should keep a watchful eye on their newborn babies so as to catch jaundice immediately they see the warning signs. Neonatal jaundice is successfully treatable but only when caught early. Nanama Anubempong reporting for GH1 News.